guys, so today I'm going to be talking about what colors am I going to play at pre-release. So I studied all the, you know, the cards that were released. It's actually on the Wizards Magic the Gathering website right now and you can take a look at the different cards and the different uh, colors, if you will. I'm going to pick black and red. Here's my reasoning. So I have very, I'm leaning towards removal heavy and black and red has very good instant speed removal at common and uncommon and you typically don't see that many uh, relevant pieces of removal I love the removal in black especially so if I had to pick one color to pick it would be black they have instant speed removal at common they have instant speed removal at uncommon and I believe they have some type of removal at rare but I'm mostly interested in common and uncommon so a the card that I want to talk about is like Flatten, I believe. That's what the card's, card's name is. Uh, triple generic, one black, minus four, minus four, instant speed. Why is minus four, minus four so good? It's because that's the average size of a big dragon. And you're going to face a ton of big dragons. And at the end of the day, if you're black and red or you're black and some other color, you will have big dragons. But assuming they're, they are also not black, they're not going to have the removal to deal with your dragons, but you will have the removal to deal with their dragons. And that's the difference. It's kind of like player A plays a bomb. Player B can either respond to that bomb or lose. And there's so many bombs. Remember, like every single card essentially is a 4-4 dragon of some type. I mean, you have so many different dragons out there. And, you know, okay, play A, plays a bomb, you don't respond, attacks you. Okay, you don't respond, attacks you, attacks you, you're dead. Or it could be play A, play, plays a bomb, you're play B, you remove it, instant speed, you play your bomb on your turn, and you say, go, player A. And I'm assuming you're play B here. And that's the best feeling ever. Like, t killing a bomb on your opponent's turn, and then playing a bomb on your turn, that just wow that's a wowzers but that would be different if you didn't have removal so a player a plays a bomb player b plays a bomb and everyone's going playing different bombs like that's not very good in my opinion then you're just going to get into a huge drag ep well i guess it would be an epic dragon fight but uh that's not how you would want to win now that being said red and black also presents the most viable well white i guess if you went Mardu, prevents, presents a viable option for aggro. Do I believe this format is extremely slow? I believe that. There's a lot of mana acceleration in green, so if you're playing opponent in green, you gotta watch out for that, but if they are mana accelerating, they are not putting stuff on the board to block you. So a, I love playing aggro, but I don't know if it's a viable deck in this limited format. I play aggro every single chance I can, but aggro, the biggest worry I have about that particular deck, a black, red, white aggro deck, is again, all these 4-4 dragons are coming down and I have a 2-1, I have like a 1-1, I have this creature, that creature. Uh, that's not ideal for aggro. Um, most times when you play aggro, you can deal with one or two bombs but you cannot deal with an onslaught of dragon bombs that are going to just block your little creatures. So I don't know if aggro is viable, um, but it is, I mean, I could see an aggro deck being viable, but you need all the correct pieces in black and red. So let me talk about red. Red has a ton of amazing creature removal. At, again, instant speed. Um, very important that the removal be at instant speed for that scenario I told you. I drop a dragon, you kill my dragon on my turn, and then you play a dragon. Like, I'm kind of like, uh oh, like, you know, I just tapped out to play my dragon, so I cannot kill your dragon on your turn. And then if I don't draw like another bomb to block it, or there's a lot of bad things that can happen in that type of scenario, and that scenario happens quite often in limited. Removal is at a premium, and when I mean at premium, I mean some colors just don't have it. Some colors don't have the removal black has at instant speed. So I'm definitely going to play black. I'm probably going to play red or white to try to make a Mardu. I like the aggro build, but you need to, you need to open and get lucky and get the correct pieces for that deck. Uh, otherwise, I'm just playing red, black, dragon, tribal, or something like that. I mean, there's so many great dragons out there, and that's what's scary about this new set. Um, when you 
look at it, it's very different from any other set we looked at because well, I've ever played at a pre-release. I mean, at most sets I play a pre-release at, a 4-4 flyer is you have maybe one or two of them in your deck. At this pre-release, your opponent could have 10, 12, maybe even more of these huge dragons and you remove one, well, I just play another one. You remove another one, okay, I'll just play another one. So the a tempo, I guess the tempo aspect of black and what black and red is very appealing to me. Um, I do like those two colors. I like Boros colors. That's my two color combination I would always play. But black and red, uh, given the fact that black has by far, in my opinion, the superior removal. And in this format, I'm going to go ahead and guess that removal will dot removal at common and uncommon will be absolutely essential for most decks. Bye guys.